Hey Threadheads, welcome back. It's been a minute since I've posted something, but i uh, just been playing around with some paragon patterns, and I thought I would share this one. This is a, uh, well, I don't actually have a name for it or anything. It's just kind of a generic uh, wired paragon. So I'm just going to take you through the steps on how I tie it. Hope you like this one. Hope you get a chance to tie a few up. Um, this one I'm doing is going to be in black and copper, but of course you could use any two colors of wire in there just to get uh, whatever color combination you want. All right, so let's get a fresh hook in the vise. So I've got a 3.5 millimeter tungsten bead on here. In uh, nickel black. And this is a number 12 fire hole 516. So for thread, I'm going to be using a uh, Vivas 12 watt. This one's C16. It's the bright orange. That'll give you the hot spot. Now you could start this with a different colored thread, a darker thread if you want. Um, but I'm just going to keep it on here just for simplicity. Just start by winding on right behind the eye, or right behind the bead rather. And we're going to start by just securing this bead a little bit. So what I like to do is I just push that bead up. I want to make sure that I've got a slot kind of on top there. We'll push that bead up. We'll add a few wraps of thread. I just want to kind of come forward of it just so that it's going to lock it in place. And then we'll come back a little bit. We don't want to stack the thread too high because it will just slip. Then we'll come forward again. I'm just kind of using your finger as a guide just so that the bead doesn't roll on you. And then once it gets secure, then you're home free there. You just want to create a bit of a light taper on that. Try and keep that underbody as smooth as possible because we're going to be Putting some wire over top of that, and the smoother that body is, the better the fly is going to turn out. So we're going to use a standard tail on this fly. I'm going to use uh, some Coque de Lyon. And I like to take five to six fibers off there. So we're just going to kind of measure that. So that it uh, comes off the back of the hook. Just kind of have to eyeball it. But typically it's about the length of the shank is what I'm aiming for. So we tie it in there. If it's a little long, then just give a pull on this end here. Just want to do it carefully so you don't... Uh, Pull it out too much, and then we'll wrap the thread back up right in behind the eye here. Again, we're going to just keep trying to uh, keep this underbody fairly even if we can. Okay, so for the wire, I'm going to use a uh, small size for this 12. If you're tying 14s and 12, 14, 16, you're probably okay with a small. If you want to go smaller than that, you might want to go down to the extra small wire sizes for the UTC. Just grab a couple pieces of wire here. And I typically, I'll tie these in together. And we'll want to try and tie them on the 
front side here and on the bottom if you can just kind of helps to hide any bumps and this can be a little bit tricky you just want to maintain that taper okay so we're at the eye and we'll just add half hitch maybe two here Just don't want to bump the uh, bobbin off here when we're winding this. So this is the trickiest part. So what I do is I just take both of those wires together. I just want to pull them taut. Try not to wiggle them. And then I'll wrap them around the back. I'll place my finger here just to kind of secure those so that they're not going to move and we just want to pull those up and over every time I wrap just kind of come back a little bit lay it over the previous or right beside the previous wraps and you can kind of see that develops a nice little segmentation as you're wrapping it if you want you can like i said you can use different colors of thread here or wire so like if you've got a silver uh olive pink black copper uh, they all work fairly nice probably got a little bit too long a length of wire here to work with for this demo and uh, that'll do enough for a few flies anyways so we're just going to work that up towards the uh, bead. You notice I got a bit of a gap right in there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. So if you are using a darker thread rather than the bright fluorescent orange, that'll definitely hide any of those little mistakes you make. All right, maybe one more wrap here. All right, we'll just pull that up. I'm just gonna pull these thread or these wires out of the way. Put a wrap over top. Just to secure that. A few wraps, and then I like to go on the both sides of that wire. Just to make sure that it's uh, quite secure and then one at a time what I'm going to do is just pull these wires taut and uh, spiral them off One other thing you can add is after you tie in the tail, you can add a piece of uh, flashaboo or something and then just pull that along the uh, back before you finish off your fly. Give it a nice whip finish here. And here's where you can also Add a little bit more taper into the bead if you like. All right, to finish this off, we're just going to add a little bit of UV resin. Just got to grab my light. So I'm just using solar as bone dry for this. You 
don't need a lot. You just want to give it a bit of a coating. You want to uh, just make sure it gets even. Because you're using wire here, you want to make sure that it just kind of fills in the cracks in between. And if you have a rotary vise, it kind of helps, especially with the thinner ones. You can uh, just make sure that the resin doesn't settle in any one spot. Looks good. So one last thing. So just take a little bit of uh, black nail polish here. We'll just add a little. Dab on the bottom there. And if you mess it up, you can wipe it off and try again. But that's going to look okay. I'll just put that aside, let it dry, and uh, that's one that's going to go see some fish this spring. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and leave a comment down below if you haven't already. Please subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon. We'll see you in the next one.